Hi guys, this is Nathan from Next Gen Tutorials and today I'm gonna show you how to port forward your Netgear router. I could try and do it with other routers as well, but I just have one to play with, so uh, it'll be my Netgear. But it's pretty much the same for all of the other ones as well. The layout will just look different for you, but the process is kind of the same. This Port forwarding can be interesting if you want to port forward, let's say, a media server or a Minecraft server or uh, you want to host a server, a game server. It can be useful for many, many things. So I'll just get right to it. First of all, you open your internet browser and you make sure that you're connected to, well, either your router or um, your wireless connection that your router broadcasts. So in this case it's Dreamcake and I'm connected so it will work. The only thing that's left to do now, well not really the only thing, in your browser you type in 192.168.1.1 and you press enter. Simple. Easy as that. Now, since this is a Netgear, my layout looks like this. It might be different where you are looking at, but most of the time you just go to Advanced, and it's still very advanced. You go to Advanced Setup, and you go to Port Forwarding. It might look a little different where you're from, well, not where you're from, but where, you, where you're looking at, but it'll be not too hard. Okay, so next we have our port forwarding that's signed on and we can add services. So as you can see I have three things port forwarded already. My Minecraft, my Minecraft TT and Plex Media Server. Now um, the this one uh, isn't working cause I don't really need it I'll delete that service but to show you guys how you do it you have to find your local IP your uh, IP address so to do this if you have a Windows 8.1 it's simple you go to your left bottom corner and you right click the Windows logo and you go to command prompt now if you have an older PC you will have to press the Windows icon and write run enter you'll get this little screen you type in CMD press OK and you have the black screen the command prompt now the next step is to write IP config there you go easy and all that's left to do now is to find your wireless LAN adapter. So here you go, the wireless LAN adapter and the IP4 address. You can see, you can tell um, by the 192.168.1.2. You take the 2 and you have to remember that number, write it down. It's not really that hard to remember one number. It can be more than one in some cases. So if you want to add a service you just add a custom service by pressing here and you name it let's say uh, Plex because uh, I, I like to port forward my Plex server and you have to find the port that you want to port forward so in Plex it's usually 32400 and ending port can be the same one if it's just one port that you want to open. If it's more than one port, you can easily just write 32500. Like this, you have 100 ports open. Now, if you still remember the number that we looked up in the command prompt here, number two, well, by your place it might be different because every IP is different, should be. You just type in two. And that's it. That's it, really. Now the Netgear gives you the uh, gives you the option to choose from several devices that are connected to your Wi-Fi connection, such as my server, my media server, and my Android device. So that's really easy. I could just, if I want to 
portfolio with my gaming laptop I just click here and I don't even have to look up the number but just in case your router doesn't do that I gave you the option to do it via command prompt now you just apply and that's it now this failure error is because it's already in use that port but you shouldn't get that and your router is port forwarding that's how simple it is i hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this little tutorial and if you did like and subscribe it would help me a lot so uh, see you guys next time bye bye